Good day viewers, so I'm going to try and hook up a load in this smart meter as normal. Let's put a light bulb in there. Maybe this will trick it into thinking there's actually a load on there. Like, hook up to a house. And maybe, um, it might do something that's different, so... Maybe there's bloody things that program to know when they're being phantom uh, loaded or not. So we've got the active out. Neutral out, uh, out. so I'm going to put the light bulb in these two. And that should light up when I turn the transformer on, and that'll start measuring it. Let's hook it up. Okay, the fuel's light on. Okay, it's on. Uh, that must be in for that, I'd say. 15.59.01 time. Love it at 9. When it displays 9, it's got the bottom bar missing, like the old, really old style LCD, um, LED screens used to do. If you have an electrical water heater, press and hold button 2 for 5 seconds to heat your water at any time. The power can see it may be charged at peak rate and it'll turn off automatically once the water is hot. That's basically how the boost function works in these uh, meters. I guess there is a fault with this meter. Oh, that was supposed to be the pulse light there. One rod out per impulse. And that is, an, it, that is the um, rod hour light there, so... Two hundred and thirty nine point three volts, duh, that's my input. Two hundred and thirty one point four amps. Two hundred and thirty one amps going through that. Fifty hertz frequency. I'm that P five zero dot five three. Oh power factor. Ah, oh, that's what that means. T nine five eight one point six W. Twenty nine point five kilowatts going through that. So hundred amps is twenty four kilowatts. So there you go, it's a bit twice overloaded there. I don't know what it is, 421001, whatever that all means. Yeah, it's going back to this menu, that's reset. Oh, look, there's a bloody face, uh, window off actually. Turn it off. Take that window off, and it should be less glare, so you can bloody see the screen for a change. Okay, if you also make these things bloody tough, Plastic's pretty bloody durable. How this thing's clipped on is bloody unbelievable. Uh, unbelievably hard to get off. Once they level them, they snap on, and they're not intended to come off ever. But I stuck the screw over onto there, broke two of the clips. I just tore the rest of it. So they're designed to go on, but never come off. They might, these must be off just made it separately. They ship them with these off, and the um, power company labels them, and they snap those on, and that's it. That was a bloody nightmare to get off. Uh, the camera seems to pick it up better now, not as much glare. Alright. Plug this in. Bear reaction zero. Turn it on. Bit of inrush there. That light's a pain. I might take that light off actually. Yeah, take that light off. It's not doing any different to the meter. That's off. Just making more of a problem with glare. Alright. I should be able to um, get to the other menu now. You can actually see what's going on. That's the normal menu. That's the menu we want. Alternative one. 242.6 volts. 186.4 amps. Alternative one. Alternative one. Oh, it's not going to be fresh. 50 hertz frequency. P5 
see is power factor 0 0.49 uh, 40,192.4 watts 40 kilowatts so a little under 200 amps there 52 zero, zero, zero. I don't know what that's supposed to mean 4212, it's got little 30 there, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. 001. Still got a lot to learn about these bloody smart meters. There we go, now it's refreshed. Then it goes back to its ordinary bloody display. Time and date. 5.08 5 kilowatts. And it's got hours, kilo, 5 kilowatt hours. A tariff, it's got nothing. C, it's got 5.1 kilowatt hours. 4.8 kilowatt hours, I don't know what tariff that is. Money, it won't tell me how much money it's um, cost. Friday, 5th or 4th, whatever that's supposed to mean. Don't know, oh, I thought that said Friday. Because I turned it on, that came up, and I thought it was a date at the time, but yeah, I don't know. I'll right, turn that down. It's almost like a cool down. That must be a run for the meter reader. There's a remote, bang, reading's done. And that's the programming one. And that's your impulse LED there. Let's volts going in. 372 for 8 amps. And here we go. 50 hertz. Now if I can turn this up, there you go, 0.6 power factor. Next time it shows an amp reading, just before it shows that, I turn the, up, the thing up flat out. Show me how much um, the peak amp output of that is. There, there you go, 37 kilowatts. Just show it there. Turn it down, let the little windings cool down. This little thing here, plus VAR and kilowatt, or plus watts. That. Yeah, warm there. It's got six kilowatt hours now. I don't know how to get the money function, how much money it's cost. I won't show me that. No, not that many. I want the other one. Fifty, two hundred and sixty volts. It registered four hundred amps here. Don't think that's putting out enough um, amps that transformer. I'll have to get me some more volt, uh, more watts. Thirty-two kilowatts. Fifty-one to one thousand. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Yeah, that uh, routine again. Six point four kilowatt hours. Yeah. And you go. It's got like a memory thing in it. I think you leave them unplugged for a while, maybe a week or so, it completely resets. Because these were completely reset when I got them. Since I did these experiments, it's um remember the uh, kilowatt hours from the uh, Friday when I started doing this. Six and a half kilowatt hours. Alright, I haven't got enough amperage to overload this bloody thing. So, I'll do some tests on this later on. Let's move on to something else.